in a surprising twist, the scratching hag's only motivation was to have from. sex. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. I grab some more coffee, even though I don't need it anymore. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Oh shit. Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Huh. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. <laughs> Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Yes. Thank How about you. your hot coochie special? A nice day. Come back soon. How about a delicious hairy taco? I'll have one. Come on, bitch, get up. Bend over in this fucking booth. Let's get this over with. Raw dog. Raw dog! Alright, Barry. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to leave him here? You're right. I deserve more money. <laughs> I'm so handsome. What an asshole. Alright, Alan, let's get out of here. What am I supposed to do? Oh, manuscript My gun page. and flashlight were gone. Uh -uh. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. Huh. And they'd been in there for hours. Way past her normal bedtime. Ha <laughs> ha! He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Uh oh, that means the sheriff's coming. They think He thinks that they're running a train on her. Well, that's actually what I wanted to do, but they wouldn't let me. So I don't blame him. Get to the car. Run, Alan. You know there's gonna be spooky bookies out here trying to get ya. Oh shit, what's this? A radio? This wasn't here before, was it? I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air, let me tell you. The weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not. Nah, yeah, shut up. Alright, is the weenie shack open now? No, this place ever fucking open? I want a fucking wiener, goddammit. I'm hungry, man. I want a foot long. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on over here? He's at the gate. Oh, you're gonna get it now. Oh, come on, man. The cops? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Oh shit! Get him up, An FBI you're agent. You're under arrest. You move a muscle all alone right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Blaine. Uh, why are they firing? They have no evidence at all against him. You can't fire him. They have no evidence that he's done anything wrong. What the fuck? That's imp it's uh, totally illegal. What are? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! What is he drunk or something? Jesus, that's bullshit. You fucking FBI agent can't I just open fire. Very behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Get up, Mr. Blake! Come on! Oh shit, they're looking for me. I gotta get out of here. Run, 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 run in the river. Oh shit. I gotta stay low. That's exactly what I gotta do. Stay low. You won't be able to see me down here. Under the bridge. Fuck! There he goes! Cocksucker saw me. I still don't understand why are the cops after him? She willingly invited him into her place. Damn. Oh my god, a sniper. Fuck. Come on, man. Fucking shit, these snipers, man. It's bullshit. We're getting mad looking right now. Oh! Fucking sniper shot the shit out of me. 
Alright, got some health back at least. Alright, man. So now it just changed from fucking a horror story to the fugitive. Where's Tommy Lee Jones? Frankly, son, I don't give a damn. Well, I give a damn. Give me my manuscript page. The Dark Presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and fun. Huh. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. So she's some kind of a a ghost, but not really. She's some kind of a, a, a spirit or a demon that has to do with the written word of poetry. That's crazy, man. Almost like maybe a muse, but an evil muse. She makes you write horror stories that come true. Oh, fucking great. Now it's gonna be enemies and I can't fight them. Holy shit! What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Oh my god, did that tree just fucking move? Yep, he did. Here's a manuscript page. The tree hit the car. Are you serious? Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. <laughs> Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. And she said, Conalingus time, baby. <laughs> How about a delicious taco salad? Oh, yes. Haven't been eating out in so long, honey. Alright, this is crazy. The tree hit the car, apparently. I have no flashlight. I'm fucked, man. I am so fucked. No flashlight. No gun. What am I going to do if I run into someone? I'm fucked. The cops are down there. Watching flares. Stay sharp. Oh my god, look at this shit. It's creepy as fuck. Ah! Whoa! Apparently they ran into something. <laughs> Andy? It's Andy. Who the fuck's Andy? Maybe he's one of them. Well, he fucked them up. Holy shit, another car got all the way up here? This horror was everywhere I went, <laughs> circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. <laughs> She's making fun of me because of my tweed jacket, you fucking lesbo bitch. Slap the shit out of you. Make fun of my, my fucking designer jacket. Cost more than your whole wardrobe. What the fuck, man? Piss me off. This shit's Banana Republic, okay? How you like them apples? Oh, fucking Christ! Well, that was lucky. Holy shit. 